So I'll the start of the Moors Millions then, the Moors Millions series. This is leg one of umpteen legs that we'll be having throughout the season. This is three more five furlongs today, and Victor's reigns at the top for Derek Hinton. Keep the contract, Craig Beckwith, King Measure, John Morgan, Nicholas Silva, Martin Leedham, Ronaldo, Matt Cooper, Tower Amlets, Graham Clutterbuck, Blossom World, David Hooley, Counting Wim, James Shea, Hot Springs Wins for Vinnie Gerard, Marazion, Darren Thompson, Nurai Classic, David Robertson, Plava Laguna, Padre Hogan, Sacred Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg, Sharnbury, Moulin, Alex Cherry, and Uptown Lady Jim Murray. Usually two qualifiers a week, one over a shorter long distance, if that makes sense, then away and racing, and the other one off a more extreme one. If you qualify, finishing the first four, I think, and you can run in the final last week of the season at Liverpool. Two finals, you can pick which one you want to go in. I think that's not necessarily a good idea, but it was all decided long before I was around. Anyway, they get to the first of the 23. Maybe it's time for a shake-up. On well, this, maybe one leg a week would be enough. It's Tower Hamlets in the lead, King's Measure. Most past it, maybe one final would be enough as well. You don't very often get big fields. Over it we go, and we'll safely over the second. And King's Measure and Tower Hamlets have gone five to six lengths clear of Plava Laguna in third as they get to this ditch. Which they're all safely over. Heading towards fence number three of the 23 that they're going to take. Actually, they're not, they're heading towards fence number four. They've already taken three of the 23. King's measure for John Morgan in front from Tower Hamlet second as they get to the fourth. Oh, safely over that one. Nicholas Silver gave it plenty of air at the back. Two greys of the greys, Jim Murray's Uptown Lady. That's King's measure. John Morgan to the good start of the season. As they get to the fifth mistake there by Tower Hamlet. King's measure. Clear on his own in the lead then there after Tower Hamlet's mistake. They're all getting quite strung out already. With King's measure the leader. Tower Hamlet second, Plava Laguna third. They take number seven. Which they all got over okay. All past the stand there. They've got two full circuits of the track still ahead of them. And King's measure leads. Tower Hamlet is second, line of three. Shear in third, Plava Laguna, Nurai Classic out in the middle of the two of them. Marazzi on. And a bit of a gap to Sacred Memorial and Obtown Lady with Ronaldo tucked in behind them and Blossom World. As we get a look at them from the other side on the inside rail, is keep the contract. Bit of a gap then to the green jacketed Hot Springs wins. As they get over the next one, another one that shouldn't be difficult to say that, but it is. It's, it's all to do with rhythm. Rhythm of words, when you're naming your horses, say it out loud a few times and see what sort of rhythm it's got. Hot Springs winds is not good for commentators. Uh, bizarrely, Shambri Moulin is. It doesn't make a lot of sense unless you sort of know about the rhythm of words. Lessons available to anybody who's interested. <laughs> for fence number nine, they go. And King's Measure is in the lead. Tower Hamlets is second. And Marazzi on and Plava Laguna. And Nurai Classic, an Uptown Lady. Blossom Worlds after that one. And Sacred Memorial. A mistake by the leader at that one. And also a mistake by Uptown Lady as well. So one or two making a few mistakes there. Quite well strung out. The John Morgan horse in the lead. You can probably bet they're going a little bit quicker than they should be. As they get over the 11th. Back marker is Chambry Moulin. King's Measure and Tower Hamlets have been one and two from the outset, really. Plava Laguna is now a clear third. Marazzi on his fourth. And New Ride Classic. Sacred Memorial is next, and then keep the contract. Blossom World after that, then Uptown Lady and Ronaldo. With Hot Springs wins as they get over the 12th. And Invictus Ranges after that. Nicholas Silver's dropped back again, and Counting Wim. And a couple of lengths back to Chambry Moulin at the back. King's Measure is. Well clear, and he's got this field well strung out. They've still got a complete circuit to go. And King's Measure leads into the 13th. Tower Hamlet's made the mistake this time. The 
into fence number 14. If you jump that carefully, Chambry Moulin made a mistake at the back, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see that one pulled up before too long. As they take the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit. Past the stand, then one more circuit to go. The second leg of this is even longer. It's King's Measure who's got the lead. Tower Hamlet is second, Plava Laguna third, Marazzi on four. Then Nurai Classic five, and keep the contracts. Sacred Memorial was before that one, and then Blossom World Uptown Lady. The grey on the inside of Hot Springs wins. Then Ronaldo is after that one. And then Nicholas Silver and Victus Reigns and Counting Wim virtually in a line. Chambry Moulin is tailed off as they get to the 16th. You can see exactly where Chambry Moulin is. There he is. Chop that nicely though, despite being last. And King's Measure. Two lengths up. Tower Hamlet's in second. Inside the final mile now. Tower Hamlet's made a mistake that time. The King of Major Seuss is still going well in the lead. He's only had that one mistake, really. Sacred Memorial has now moved through into second and been quickly chased by Nurai Classic. Those two looking the two biggest dangers to the leader. Although Counting Wim is racing through the field and the leader surrendered the lead there, if that makes any sense. It's Nurai Classic who's gone on from Sacred Memorial in second. King's Measure now under pressure and starts to drop away. Hot Springs wins and Counting Wim both coming through as well. Uptown Lady there. First of the Greys is also trying to run on Maurizio and Plava Laguna just caught a bit flat footed but the race is on in earnest now with four to jump. This is the fourth last and the leader baby, uh, Nurai Classic gets over it in the lead from Hot Springs wins who's gone second. Counting Wim is third. Sacred Memorial is in fourth. Then Uptown Lady is in fifth. After that one comes Plava Laguna. The long time leader King's Measure is next. Nicholas Silver is eating up the ground on the outside but it's Hot Springs wins who comes into the third last fence. Takes it in the lead from Counting Women second, then Sacred Memorial looks to be going well between them. After that one is Nurai Classic and Uptown Lady. Chambry Moon has indeed been pulled up, three in a line up a second last, and it's Sacred Memorial who landed in the lead. Got away from it well now. This could be another one for the old Van Rensburg. Quickly on two lengths clear. Counting Women second. Over the final fence they go, and Sacred Memorial landed in front and landed clear. And Counting Women is in second. King's Measure's got a second win back in third, then Blossom World after that one, but up towards the line. Counting Counting Wim is getting closer to the leader. This is going to be tight on the line. Oh, that is tight because Counting Wim very, very nearly caught Sacred Memorial. May well have caught him, to be honest. We can't tell from these angles. Let's see what it looks like on the replay because sometimes it looks very different. Ooh, Leon's horse has just held on. I think he does indeed. Sacred Memorial for Leon van Rinsburg just. Hanging on to the win, counting Wim James Shea second. King's measure for John Morgan was back in third. Marazzi on Darren Thompson fourth. And Blossom World for David Hooley was fifth.